Hello everyone. So in this video, we'll be going over um, the general blood circulation through the heart. So how does blood get to the heart from the rest of the body? And how does it go to the lungs? And how does it go from the lungs back to the heart and to the rest of the body? Um, so we'll go over the, over the overall big picture first. And then as we're going, um, as we're proceeding, we'll, I'll add in extra layers um, so that um, it's a little bit more clear for you. So at the beginning, you know that you have the heart, um, and you know that this is the right side of the heart, and this is the left side of the heart, okay? So generally speaking, you can divide the heart into two main um, sides. So you have the right side and the left side, and remember, this is the right side and the left side of the patient, always in anatomical position. Not, your, not the observer, but the model or the patient's perspective. So you have the right side of the heart and the left side of the heart. So um, blood will go into the right side of the heart from the body. So the body will then um, dump blood into the right side of the heart. And then from the right side of the heart, it'll go to the lungs. At the lungs, um, blood will get oxygenated. And then it'll go back to the left side of the heart. Okay. And then the left side of the heart, now from the left side of the heart, it's gonna go to the rest of the body. So pretty simple. Again, you have right heart, right? You have body going to the right heart, then going to the lungs, get oxygenated, going to the left heart, and then now to the rest of the body. Pretty simple, right? So now we'll add in more and more detail as we go. So first of all, you know that in addition to the right heart and the left heart, you know that the heart is actually divided into four main chambers, right? So you have the top is called the atrium. So here you have your right atrium and here you have your left atrium. So left atrium and right atrium. And the bottom two chambers, you have your right ventricle and you have your left ventricles, right? So really simple here, it'll go same thing, right? So it'll go from the body to the right side of the heart. Specifically, it'll go right atrium, then right ventricle. Pretty simple, okay? And same thing, it'll go to the lungs, and then it'll go to the left side of the heart. Specifically, it'll go to the left atrium first, and then it'll go to the left ventricle, and then blood will circulate to the rest of the body. Easy, okay? So now, next, let's add more and more um, sort of um, structures as we're going. So here, you know that in between the chambers of the heart, you have these valves, okay? So these two that I just highlighted in purple, right, are between your atrium and your ventricle. And you have one on the right side of the heart and you have one on the left side of the heart. So they're in between your atrium and your ventricles. Therefore, they're going to be called atrioventricular valves. So here you have your right, AV valve or atrioventricular valve. And that name makes sense because it's between your atrium and your ventricles. Same thing here, you have your left AV valve. Pretty simple, right? So let's keep adding to our flow chart. So you have your body to the right atrium and then it's gonna go to the right AV valve, right? And to the lungs to the left heart, and then to the left atrium. And in between your left atrium, your left ventricle, you obviously have your left AV valve. Pretty simple, right? And then now to the rest of the body. So the uh, other names for you, for the right AV valve and the left AV valve, you, you might hear is tricuspid and bicuspid valve. Okay, and the, the mnemonic that I'd like you to know or that helps me understand is you try before you buy. Okay, like you, whenever you go to the grocery market, you have to try it first before you want to buy it. Um, so the try always comes before the buy. So this is going to be your tricuspid valve. And this is going to be your bicuspid valve. And again, how do you remember that? Because you try before you buy. So try cuspid valve or buy, buy cuspid valve. Cool. You have two more valves that you have to remember. Okay. 
So from the right, from the right ventricle to the lungs, you also have a valve right there, okay? And then from the left ventricle to the rest of the body, you also have a valve right there, okay? But before we can go to the valve, let's add in what um, blood vessel is it gonna go through, okay? So right when you go, okay, so let's review. You go from the body to the right atrium, then you pass by the tricuspid valve or the right atrioventricular valve, then you go to your right ventricle, and now you're gonna exit the heart to go to the lungs. Well, which, uh, which sort of blood vessel is gonna allow you to do that? Well, the word for um, lung is pulmonary, okay? And you know that it's going away from the heart, um, so that's going to be your pulmonary arteries, okay? Because blood is going away from the heart. Does that make sense? Um, and sometimes you hear pulmonary trunk first and then pulmonary trunk will then further separate into uh, left and right pulmonary arteries. But for the, the sake of simplicity, I'm just going to make it pulmonary arteries for now, okay? Pulmonary arteries is then gonna go, we know it's gonna go to the lungs, right? And then it's going to have to go back to the left side of the heart through the pulmonary vein, right? Because vein um, is always blood return back to the heart. Okay, so then it's gonna go back to the heart via the pulmonary vein. That's so gonna go back to the heart, okay? Cool. It's gonna go back to the left of uh, the left side of the heart and you know that it's gonna go left atrium, then through the um, left AV valve or bicuspid valve, and then it's gonna to go to the left ventricle, and then it's gonna exit through another vessel to go to the rest of the body. Now, what is that, what is that uh, blood vessel gonna be called? So this one I'm referring to right here. That's easy, it's just gonna call, it's just gonna be called the aorta, okay? Aorta. So now that we're at, um, we have added in the two new vessels, right? And remember I said from right ventricle to um, the pulmonary artery, we have a valve right there, right here. So in between your right ventricle and your pulmonary artery, this valve right here is going to be called your pulmonic valve. And that's easy, right? It's easy that it's called pulmonic valve because it's literally uh, the valve that's in between your heart and the blood vessel that's going to take you to your lungs, okay? And this one right here, right, that is after your left ventricle to the rest of the body via the aorta, you can guess what it's called. It's pretty simple. It's, it's pretty straightforward, right? If it's going to the aorta, that valve is going to be called your aortic valve. Super simple, okay? Pretty easy so far, right? We're almost done. So the last thing we have to add in is, okay, so then we know that blood goes from the body to the right atrium, right? We know that, but, but with, what? with what blood vessel, right? So that is going to be your superior vena cava, your inferior vena cava, and your coronary, coronary sinus. Okay, so specifically, I'm just gonna go through one more time. Blood is gonna go uh, from the body via the superior vena cava to the inferior vena cava, or from, the, from three things, superior vena cava, inferior vena cava, coronary sinus. Blood is gonna go to the right atrium, go through the right AV valve, right, right here, go to the right ventricle, and then from the right ventricle, it's gonna go through a valve that's called the pulmonic valve. It's gonna go through the pulmonary arteries to the lungs, to pulmonary veins, which returns back blood to the heart on the left side. So left atrium, then left AV valve or bicuspid valve, left ventricle. Um, then it's gonna go through another valve, the aortic valve to go to the aorta to now the rest of the body, okay? And then again, it's gonna go back through the superior vena cava, inferior vena cava, coronary sinus, and start the whole pathway again. So just to summarize, I'm gonna go through it one last time and we're gonna write everything out, okay? But now I'm gonna use red for oxygenated blood 
and um, blue for deoxygenated blood. Okay, so now you know that the blood has to go into the heart and the whole point that it goes into the heart is that it can go into the lung to then get oxygenated, right? So then you know that superior vena cava, inferior vena cava, and coronary sinus, those are all going to be deoxygenated blood. And then it's gonna go again, as you remember, and as I'm going through this, you can kind of go through it in your head or go through it with me. Okay, it's gonna to go to the right atrium. And then it's gonna to go to the right AV valve or atrioventricular valve, or another name for that is tricuspid valve. And the way I remember that again is you try before you buy. After that, it's gonna to go to the left atrium, simple, right? And now it's gonna exit the heart, it's gonna go away from the heart, and you know that, that blood vessels that carry blood away from the heart are called arteries. Arteries away, vein towards, okay? So this is gonna be your, some sort of arteries. What's going to the lungs is going to be your pulmonary arteries. And then it's gonna to go to the lungs. Okay, so now at this point, it's going to the lungs to pick up some oxygen and drop off some carbon dioxide. So at this point, blood is no longer deoxygenated because it's just visited the lungs, right, to pick up some oxygen. So now you're gonna have oxygenated blood from now on, okay? The lungs is then going to carry blood back through the pulmonary vein, right? It's not arteries anymore because now it's going back towards the heart and not away from the heart. So pulmonary veins. So from pulmonary vein, it's then going to go back to the um, left side of the heart. So it's going to go left atria. Pretty simple, right? And it's going to go, you already guessed it, there's a left AV valve. Which that left AV valve, again, another name for that is called bicuspid valve. Again, you try before you buy. And then after that, after that, it's gonna to go to the left ventricle. Super simple. After the left ventricle, it's gonna exit the heart right through another valve that is called your aortic valve. After your aortic valve, it's gonna go aorta. Okay. And after the aorta, it's gonna to go to the rest of the body, supplying oxygen to the rest of the body. Okay, so then afterwards, what it's going to do is it's then going, so after it drops off right at the body right here, right, it's now oxygenated blood. So it's gonna then supply oxygen to the rest of the body, okay? So afterwards, it has to return to the heart again to pick up oxygen for the next cycle. So at this point, after it drops off, it's going to become deoxygenated. It's gonna to return to the heart here superior vena cava, inferior vena cava, and coronary sinus. I hope that makes a little bit of sense. Um, and if you know this, that everything else is going to be like icing on the cake. So it's going to be a lot simpler for you to understand, okay? So just go through this again and make sure that um, after this video, go ahead and take out a blank piece of paper and kind of go through the blood flow through the heart. Again, one more time, just to make sure you solidify this information. And I'll see you in the next video.